everyone welcome back to edumon tutorials from now on we will be covering our unit 2 in dld which is boolean algebra and logic gates at first i will run you through the agenda we will be covering basic definitions axiomatic definitions of boolean algebra basic theorems and properties of boolean algebra boolean functions canonical and standard forms other logic operations digital logic gates and integrated circuits Seeing all this agenda, you might confuse yourself, but I will be giving all the necessary information for you to solve any problem given in your textbook. Myself, Sohana Damutoti, and now let's get started. Hmm. At first, let me introduce you to few gates. Like we have three basic gates, which are N, OR, and NOT. We have two universal gates, which are NAND and NOR, and two special gates, which are XOR and XNOR. Now, what is actually universal gates? With the help of universal gates, like with this help of these two gates, we can form or implement any other gates. Like using NAND and NOR, we can implement END gate or OR gate or NOT gate. Now, with the help of NAND and NOR also, we can be implementing XOR gates and XOR, XNOR gates. Like how do we implement all these? I will be detailedly explaining you in the later part of the videos. At first, let's just concentrate on the basic uh, properties of all these gates. Now. N stands for A dot B and this is usually the uh, notation of that logical gate. If this is an AB and this can be your output. Uh, similarly, we have OR gate which is A plus B and this is your inputs like AB and this can be your output. So this is the representation. We have just a curved structure for this one. Now, uh, let's look on to the NAND gate. NAND gate is uh, simply NOT plus END. So how do we uh, just place a NOT for this one? We just place a bubble for this one. So this bubble states that the negation of the AND gate. Similarly, NOR gate means NOT plus OR. So we are just placing a bubble for this one, for the OR gate. So that's what NOT gate is all about, just placing a bubble for this one. So if this is A and uh, like input and this is Y, your uh, output Y can be like A bar. Now XOR. XOR is basically odd one detector gate. So the representation of this gate is as follows. Now in XNOR. XNOR is basically even one detector gate. So this is the representation of the XNOR gates. Now let's look onto the values of its truth tables. So for given AB, uh, we can consider four, four such values like 00, 01, 10 and 11. Now let's uh, just uh, go through this all OR gates like uh, AND uh, truth tables, NAND, NOR, XOR and XNOR truth tables. So A plus B, as we all know, it is uh, 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is a 1, 1 plus 0 is a 1, 1 plus 1 is a 1. Now end A dot B, like 0 dot 0 is 0, 0 dot 1 is a 0, 1 dot 0 is a 0, 1 dot 1 is a 1. NAND is basically not of this AND gate. So just complementing all these values, like for 0 it's 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and for 1 it is 0, NOR. NOR is also basically complementing the OR gate. So for the value 0, 1, 1, and 1, its complements are 1, 0, 0, and 0. Now XOR. As we know that XOR is an odd one detector, so for only the values like 0 0.1 and the 1.0, we have 1 for these two, and the rest goes with 0. XNOR is now basically the complementing of XOR. So for 0, it will be 1, for 1 and 1, it will be 0 and 0, and for 0, it will be 1. Now let's look on to few fundamentals of Boolean algebra. So now we need to remember few fundamentals of the Boolean algebra. These are not so difficult, uh, you can just uh, keep on remembering them as many problems as you solve. So, at first a plus 0 equals to a and a plus 1 equals to 1. Like 1 plus anything equals to 1. So, just remember these formulas like this. And 1 dot a equals to a and 0 dot a equals to 0 because 0 multiplying with anything is equals to 0. Now, if a equals to 1, then a bar equals to 0. Just a simple complementing uh, formula that one. And now let's consider idempotent loss. Like idempotent loss says that a plus a equals to a and a dot a equals to a. So instead of writing two times, we can just write one time. And similarly, instead of uh, multiplying it the two times, we can just write it for the ones. And now absorption loss. Absorption loss states that a plus a b equals to a and a dot a plus b equals to a. Now you might be wondering how uh, do we get these values. Uh, so similar, uh, just a simple... Uh, uh, problem so a plus a b equals to now we can just take common of a in both of them so a into 1 plus b now 1 plus b or 1 plus anything according to this one equals to 1 so 1 plus anything equals to 1 so a into 1 a into 1 equals to a 
that's what our formula is all about now again a into a plus b equals to a how do we solve this so a dot a plus a b right now a dot a like a dot a can be just written once so a plus a b now from these two terms we can take a as common so a into 1 plus b now similarly 1 plus anything equals to a 1 so a into 1 equals to an a so that's what our absorption law is all about now uh, consider the next one a plus a bar b equals to a plus b now how do we solve this so a into 1 it's simply like a into 1 right plus a bar b now this one can be also written like 1 plus x right like uh, now let's uh, lay, uh, let that x be b so a into 1 plus b plus a bar b which is equals to a plus a b plus a bar b now from these two terms you can take b as common so a plus b into a plus a bar now uh, just uh, if you just uh, go down you can see these two formulas a plus a bar equals to 1 and uh, a plus sorry a dot a bar equals to 0 these two are very important always remember these two with only this 1 and 0 your entire answer can go wrong so from these two laws like a plus a bar equals to 1 so a plus b into 1 which is equals to a plus b this is what we obtain here now okay L let's consider the other one a into a bar plus b equals to a b now how do we solve this a dot a bar plus a b now a dot a bar equals to 0 right so this goes with 0 0 plus a b 0 plus anything equals to that uh, anything only so like 0 plus x equals to that x itself so uh, 0 plus a b equals to a b which is what is given here so you need to uh, remember these two important formulas which is a plus a bar equals to 1 and a dot a bar equals to 0 and the last one is a complement whole complement complement and complement goes on and makes it a simpler one so so a complement whole complement equals to a now we have two important theorems of boolean algebra which is a de morgan's theorem or a law and a consensus theorem now de morgan's uh, theorem states that a dot b whole bar equals to a bar plus b bar now how do we get that we are just taking the complement for each and every term present here so a complement is a bar and dot complement is a plus b complement is a b bar similarly this one also a plus b whole bar like a complement is a bar and plus complement is a dot and b complement is a, a b bar now okay now let's look on to the next theorem which is consensus theorem now we have this uh, kind of uh, identity which is uh, a b plus uh, a bar c plus b c equals to a b plus a bar c that means this term is getting uh, eliminated here but how do we prove that now let's see how do we prove that uh, just write this term a b plus a bar c plus b c b c into 1 generally it's a 1 from this uh, law like a plus a bar equals to 1 we can just substitute these terms in place of 1 which tends to happen like a b plus a bar c plus b c into a plus a bar now just expand all of them a b plus a bar c plus a b c plus a bar b c now from these two terms we can take a b common right a b into 1 plus c now from again these two terms we can take a bar c as common a bar c into 1 plus b now we have already known this rule like uh, 1 plus x equals to 1 so 1 plus c equals to 1 in the a bar c and 1 plus b equals to 1 which tends to be a b plus a bar c which is equals to this one i hope these two are uh, similar right so this is what our consensus theorem is all about now let's look into few properties of boolean algebra we have few uh, basic properties like commutative property associative property distributive property and then transposition property now commutative property has uh, these kind of formulas like a plus b equals to b plus a a dot b equals to b dot a a dot b whole bar equals to b dot a whole bar associative property like a plus b plus c equals to a plus uh, b plus c i hope uh, you have already studied a commutative property associative property and uh, distributive property in your earlier classes there is nothing uh, new in this concept again 
so you can see these formulas just go through these formulas also and now let's look onto the transposition property uh, we have this transposition property identity as as follows like a b plus a bar c equals to a plus c into a bar plus b now how do we solve this now how can we say that these two are equal uh, just try it, uh, writing all this formulas like expanding all this so a dot a bar a a bar plus a b plus a bar c and b c now a a bar is equals to zero right so that goes with zero uh, and now we are left with the terms like a bar a b plus a bar c plus b c but from our consensus theorem which we already discussed in the previous one we have a b plus a bar c plus b c again c a b plus a bar c plus b c which is equals to a b plus a bar c a b plus a bar c so these two are equal so these are the properties of the boolean algebra now let's look onto the dual of a boolean expression in order to get a, du a dual of an expression we are simply replacing or with end that is plus is transformed into a dot and then end with an or that means a dot is replaced with a plus and one with zero and zero with one one thing to remember here is that we are not at all changing or replacing the complements like for example in the given uh, equation or expression if you find any a bar or b bar you are not at all changing that one we are only concerned with changing or and end in ones and zeros okay now let's look on to an example now uh, given the identity as follows like a b plus a bar c plus b c equals to a b plus a bar c now we need to form the dual for that one so here we have a dot so dot must be replaced with a plus so a plus b now plus must be replaced with a dot and then a bar dot c means a bar plus c so plus is again are replaced with a dot now b dot c equals to b plus c and this is equal to a dot b means uh, a plus b uh, and this one plus is a dot and then a bar uh, dot c means a bar plus c see we are not at all uh, changing this a bar we are just as it is placing this a bar now uh, but now how do we check this value is equals to this or not so actually you know, uh, when this question is asked in your exam you just write this equation as it is but for your reference how this value is equals to this one so let's try solving these two values we have a plus b dot a bar plus c dot b plus c right so just solve this a dot a bar so a, a bar plus a c plus a bar b plus b c dot b plus c now a a bar equals to zero so now we are left with the terms like a c plus a bar b plus b c into b plus c now again expand these terms like a b c plus a bar b dot b plus a b c plus a c c plus a bar b c plus b c and c now uh, in the few terms like a b b like b b and c c and c c like these terms are getting repeated right uh, you can just replace them with only single term like b dot b is equals to a b so how do we expand this now a b c plus a bar b and a b c and a c uh, and a bar b c plus a b c now here b c and b c are two times repeated we are aware of this formula like x plus x equals to x right so simply just uh, write it once so which tends to happen like a b c plus a bar b plus b c plus a c plus a bar b c now as you can see from these two like a bar b c and a b c just take b c common then it tends to be a plus a bar right just uh, write all the other terms as it is plus b c plus uh, a c now a plus a bar equals to 1 right we are aware since a plus a bar equals to 1 from the fundamental properties which you have seen previously uh, so b c into 1 plus a bar b plus b c plus a c uh, which is equals to a bar b plus a c plus now again b c plus b c which is similar to like x plus x equals to x so it is just b c so now you can see this term is equal to the question which is given in the above 
okay so when you solve this part also you will be getting the answer as similar way so hence the dual form will be asked this one so there's nothing to confuse whenever they give you uh, in the exams to find the dual form just replace this plus uh, with a dot and dot with a plus and zeros with one and ones with zero that's it this is just a reference to tell you that uh, both of these terms are equal or not so uh, now we are done with the dual of the boolean expression let's see another concept literals variables or a component of a variable is called as a literal that is the basic definition see for example a is a variable then a and a bar are called as literals similarly if a function f of a comma b equals to a plus a bar b then the literals are a a bar b and b bar that is the function can contain terms only of a a bar b and b bar similarly if uh, f is a function of abc then we have the literals like a a bar b b bar and c c bar to sum up the formula for this one is as follows the number of literals for a n variable function is 2n so till here we are completely dealt with the uh, fundamentals properties and etc so, uh, for a boolean expressions now in the next video we will be solving a few problems so that you will be having a greater idea of what i explained till now so till then stay tuned to edumon thank you